Not long ago, we introduced you to the ninth generation of the Honda Accord sedan. And during that test, we showed you how you get more car for less money. Hi, Chris Kelly here for Vehicles Test. And today we're testing the two-door version, the coupe version. Here, you're basically getting the same high-end, high-tech features that you get in the sedan, but in a much sportier package. The Accord Coupe is a great car for those who want to move up in style and luxury, but who still want to keep a racy edge to their ride. It features athletic styling and a McPherson suspension that has been specially tuned to be sportier than the sedan, so it provides an exciting ride and a firmer grip for extra confidence during cornering maneuvers. To quote one dealer we spoke to, it's been designed to deliver BMW performance, but without the BMW price tag. There are two available engines for the coupe. The Earth Dream's 2.4 liter four cylinder that generates 185 horsepower at 6400 RPM, or the re-engineered 3.5 liter V6 that develops 278 horsepower at 6200 RPM. That's more horses than you get with the Lexus ES, BMW 328i, or the Mercedes-Benz C-Class. Either power plant can be hitched to a six-speed manual transmission for a truly sporty driving experience, or the four-cylinder can be matched to a continuously variable transmission with sport mode, while the V6 gets a six-speed automatic, also with sport mode and paddle shifters for stick-like performance. EPA estimated fuel economy for the V6 coupe we tested is 21 miles per gallon city, 32 highway, and 25 miles per gallon combined but it goes up to 35 miles per gallon highway for the four-cylinder coupe models with CVT. We tested the V6 engine and found the Accord Coupe is a wolf in sheep's clothing. We got a blistering 0 to 60 time of just 6.2 seconds and a 50 to 70 mile an hour highway passing time of just 2.6 seconds. The acceleration literally pushes you back in your seat. We completed the quarter mile run in 14.9 seconds doing 100 miles an hour flat at the end. And here we go, we're going to try our 0 to 60 test, right? Wow! Push it back in your seat for the Oh my god, I like, woo! Watch! <laughs> we it? Yeah, we made it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's live TV, live drive TV, folks. <laughs> the Accord Coupe has a get up and go, and we got up and went. <laughs> so when we look at the differences between the Coupe and the sedan, there are surprisingly few. The coupe, of course, is a two-door version, but it's nearly the same size, just a tad less than two inches shorter overall at 189.2 inches versus 191.4 for the sedan. And like the sedan, the coupe is also rated for five passengers, although you would not really want an adult in the middle rear seat for an extended period of time, as the rear seating is more set up for two adults and a youngster in the middle. But other than that, the coupe provides the same access to the high-tech features we found throughout the sedan. Okay, here's a couple of high-tech features we were talking about. The first one that comes standard is the backup camera. And when I put it in reverse, you can see you get the grid lines here. But watch this. When I turn the wheels, it actually shows what I will hit if I keep going that way. So that's fantastic. It's not just a straight grid. So that's terrific. And then when I'm ready to drive and I put on my left-hand turn signal, you can see I'm parked right now, but you can see what's happening on my right-hand side. So if I make a turn up here, I know there's nobody sneaking inside here that I'm going to hit. Next, there's the Bluetooth hands-free link that allows you to quickly and easily pair your smartphone with the car. Now you have access to the SMS text function that's standard on all trim levels. If you move up to the EX level, you now get the Smart Entry Keyless System one-touch power moonroof, engine start stop button, fog lights, and heated side mirrors with turn indicators and expanded view driver's mirror. This lets you see two full lanes over to your left for added safety. And finally, once you get to the EXL model, that's where all the really high-tech features kick in as standard equipment. Another new feature that's standard is called the lane departure warning. A small camera on the windshield tracks lane markings. And if you drift out of your lane without signaling, the alarm goes off, which is a great safety feature. On EXL trims and above, there's also a system called Forward Collision Warning, or FCW for short. This includes either a small camera or radar that detects the presence of a vehicle in front of you. If the FCW determines that you're closing in too fast on the car in front of you, it activates audio and visual alarms. 
Taken all together, these systems create a 360 degree safety zone around you, kind of like having a full-time crossing guard along as a lookout. So in the end, if you're one of those drivers who's ready to move up to a luxury ride, but you still want performance to go with it, then the Accord Coupe should be on your short list of cars to test drive.